Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 1st, 2020. Well, my goodness, it's hard to believe it's July already. This has been one wild and crazy year, and yesterday also proved to be pretty wild and crazy with some choppy price action that resulted, ended up resulting in the best quarterly performance of the market since 1987. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we buckle up, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's prepare for the Wednesday hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, uh, kind of an interesting situation. Yesterday we saw the market rallying. There was just this constant push and pressure, particularly in um, a couple of the big tech stocks to move the market up um, into the close yesterday to finish up the quarter strong. Um, this is often called window dressing, 401k plans and things like that, doing that last minute push into the market. They want to get want those good headlines if they can get them, and they sure got it yesterday with that rally. Now, obviously, a big part of this rally was fueled on the trillion upon trillion uh, dollars that were injected by central banks and government stimulus plans from all around the world. That certainly helped in lifting the market up substantially. Now we face a third quarter and an uncertainty as to how those earnings will come in in the third quarter. And what was interesting yesterday is immediately i mean immediately after the cash close yesterday futures began to sell off and they are pointing to a gap down open this morning that will take back most of yesterday's gain all at once if not all of it so um <laughs> kind of an interesting situation and it kind of smacks of manipulation uh, when you think about it. They push and push and push and close the market in the cash high and then immediately begin to sell it off as soon as the cash market closes yesterday. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at some of the technicals here in the chart. There were some clues to this yesterday when the absolute breadth um, indicator T2101 in TC2000 was in solid decline yesterday. That means breadth of the market was very, very low as the market was continuing to rally, which really indicated that they were pushing on some very select stocks to continue to move this market higher. And um, selling off immediately after the close puts us in kind of an interesting situation. If we take a look just at um, support and resistance in the Dow, you can see we tried to cross up that downtrend kind of popping into some price resistance here in the chart of this little consolidating area right in here so we're pushing up into that into the close and now we're going to back away from that all of a sudden here at the open now i'm not going to suggest that we're going to stay down here um, but there is a little bit of concern if we give all of yesterday's rally back up Let's take a look at the technicals in the chart. We rallied up to the 500 day moving average and now we're going to um, put in, at least at the open, we're gonna put in a failure of that 500 day moving average. Makes you kind of wonder if there's not going to be an attack again of that 50 day moving average in the near future. So watch that carefully if we do have that failure and we continue this little downtrend um, here in the market. So let's watch that carefully. Remember, we've kind of given up and we've kind of broken the longer term uptrend. And if we fail here again, that might create a little bit of profit taking heading into the three day weekend. So kind of think about that. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY also substantial rally yesterday, and we're gonna take a big portion of that back this morning. Not all of it like we're looking at in the Dow, but a substantial amount back. That would be a potential failure here at its 200 or 20 day moving average and a failure at downtrend 
could potentially develop here. So we'll want to watch that carefully and I would not rule out the possibility of a strong test of the 200 day moving average and then possibly even that 50 day moving average as it continues to try and edge up here to provide that additional layer of support in the chart. We'll see if that can hold. Um, it'll be an interesting situation as we head into this three day weekend. We do have this declining um, wedge pattern here or descending triangle that will be kind of interesting to watch um, as we head toward this weekend. If we take a look at the cues, there is absolutely nothing in here that suggests bearishness whatsoever. The cues has been the dominant um, index during this entire rally with the tech giants uh, kind of being the leaders. Now yesterday we saw big moves. There was a heavy, heavy push into Microsoft, Microsoft breaking out to new highs. Apple also had a big, strong push going on yesterday. And that was the majority of the lift that ended up raising the Dow yesterday. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, also in this declining pattern it performed a little bit better yesterday than I would have expected because we saw a nice little surge back up in some of the financial sector stocks. But we have to recognize the fact that we have failed the 500 day, we have failed the 200 day, and a pullback today could constitute another lower high in that index. So we'll wanna watch this 50 day moving average as potential support. If we fail down through this level of support, we could have and we can have a tough beginning to the quarter. So let's watch that carefully today. Hopefully those bulls will step in. Um, we have a lot going on here this morning and for the next couple of days here in the market for uh, the market to um, try and digest. We had um, White House advisor um, really giving a dismal look to the coronavirus situation in the country suggesting we could soon see a hundred thousand new cases a day right as of yesterday we reported over 46,000 new cases of coronavirus as it continues to spike up and even Goldman Sachs came out yesterday um, calling for a national mask policy requiring all people to wear a mask in public to try and what it said save the economy i don't know if uh, that might have been an overreach and an over dramatization of what's actually happening but certainly a concern out there in the market and it's, it may begin to weigh on the market here a little bit more um, as we move into the third quarter. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX. The VIX yesterday, what was interesting is as the market was rallying, we did get a decline in the VIX, but we ended up closing the VIX above a 30 handle. That really doesn't bode well, in my opinion. That still shows a significant amount of fear in the market closing above a 30 handle even after such a strong performance over the quarter so let's keep an eye on that today i'm expecting that to bounce up pretty high this morning um, whether or not that is going to constitute a hold of support and we really begin that sell-off um, rally here in the VIX, I don't know. Let's keep a close eye on that, but that possibility does exist that we are going to hold the downtrend here as support and possibly rally on the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 had a nice little push up yesterday and you can see we pushed up here past that mid zone in T2122, which really tells us nothing. Um, T2122 doesn't give us a directional um, look in a chart or, or tell us we're going to move up or move down. What it does do is it indicates when we're kind of oversold and when we're overbought. Now, my guess is with this gap down this morning, we're going to see this make a substantial move back lower. We could approach that bullish reversal zone if that sell off does come in here today. So let's watch that carefully and closely today as we move along. As I mentioned before, T2101 
um, had the absolute breadth of the market declining yesterday as we were rallying. And what was really interesting to me is that as the market was rallying, we also saw um, gold, um, gold rising sharply yesterday, as well as silver rising sharply yesterday. And we even saw stocks, uh, gold miner stocks moving up and copper moving up yesterday into this move, which would normally be more of a safe haven trade, which was kind of interesting. They were going up as the market was trying to stretch itself higher. So let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to be paying attention to here this morning. Um, as you can see, we've got the ADP report this morning. That's going to give us those jobs numbers. Um, it's not nearly as important as it used to be. Um, it misses quite often. but can certainly move the market depending on how it comes in. We'll want to watch that. PMI manufacturing and ISM manufacturing. Now, over the last quarter, what's happened is no matter what these numbers showed, um, if they were good, bad, whatever, the market rallied. It'll be interesting to see if that continues here in the third quarter. But we also have um, construction spending. We have a couple of Fed speakers. We have a petroleum status report. And then we have the FOMC minutes. Now, I doubt we learn anything new, but it's relatively typical that we see the market kind of pause, rest, um, as we wait for FOMC minutes to come out. So I don't know if that will occur today, but we'll want to pay attention to that. And then as we get to the close, remember, we're going to probably begin to see volumes dry up as traders head out and extend their vacations. So volumes will likely uh, begin to sink. We might see some really wild price action, big whippy price action moves as those volumes shrink and we get more into just uh, program trading from high frequency firms and then we want to um, remember as we close out today that we have big numbers tomorrow that could move the market around significantly so kind of plan your day carefully with this in mind that these numbers will be out before the market opens could move the market substantially think about that as you plan your risk forward into the day so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day in your trading oh by the way i forgot um, um, earnings. We should take a look at earnings. We have about 13 companies reporting earnings today. And we do have a few notables that I should mention here uh, today. Let's take a look at those. We have Macy's. Macy's is reporting and looks like at least at the moment they're gapping down here just a little bit. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, if you use TC2000, these this little triangle right here is showing me the bid ask uh, this morning. And that's telling me that we're gapping just slightly lower here this morning on uh, Macy's. Now, I can't tell you if that's the earnings report or if that's just a function of the market selling off, but a little bit of a gap down here this morning on Macy's. Um, STZ, STZ is also reporting today. They're looking at a gap up open right now, looking at a positive gain here this morning. Um, CP, RI. I question whether I wanted to put this on the list because I'm not really sure this would be a particularly notable stock, but it is reporting this morning um, right now indicating to open about where it closed. Um, may have reported, may not, I don't know. And last but not least, General Mills. General Mills reporting this morning and it looks like it's indicating a gap lower. So kind of a mixed bag this morning on these notable reports. So once again, everybody, um, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading and I want to wish you all of the best. Um, and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. 
Um, I would truly, truly appreciate it. And if you find these videos to be helpful, worthy, and, and trying to help you plan your day, if you could also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Uh, means the world to me, helps the channel to continue to grow. And I want to thank everyone very, very much who does take the time to do that. It, it, it honestly means a lot. So thank you very much. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks I might be setting up, but I got to tell you guys, as I talk about these stocks today, there is a major concern here with this market gapping down. Um, we'll want to watch that carefully and closely. So one of the first things I want to point out this morning is um, that gold and silver. Now gold and silver, I own both of these, so I want to be very, very clear that um, I may be displaying bias in these trades. Um, right now I'm holding both of those as long-term um, positions. And this rally has been extremely uh, nice in GLD. If the market starts selling off, we might see gold um, continue to gain some favor. So take a look at that, watch that closely. Um, I don't chase um, any trade. And remember, anytime I post a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. What it's meant to do is give you something to evaluate, something to learn from. Take a look at that chart, that beautiful trend, the way the pattern is just this nice little stair stepper. Um, just stepping up as we continue this move. Keep an eye on that closely. There may be some opportunities in that chart. Um, another one would be silver. Now, SLV had a big strong move yesterday and we really broke this downtrend that we had been um, looking at in the chart and kind of confirming uh, this little wedge pattern to the upside. Now, one thing I will tell you is silver will tend to move a lot more with the market. So with the market gapping down, silver may move down with it today. And the reason that occurs is because silver has much more of an industrial use um, in the market. And if we see the economy declining, silver could also decline. But keep an eye on that really nice pattern, nice breakout yesterday, something to keep an eye on. Another place you might look is um, some copper copper plays um, um, FCX FCX yesterday I ended up buying FCX yesterday um, making a nice move here um, on the day close the day with a nice profit in that trade so I want to disclose that that I'm not suggesting you should chase this move but with precious metals starting to show um, some good signs. It's interesting that we're seeing FCX moving up. Now it is moving a little bit lower this morning. And again, this will have more of an effect of a market pullback than possibly gold because it has that industrial aspect to it. So keep an eye on that. And remember, FCX is a copper miner, not copper itself. Keep Kind of keep that in mind. But a nice little trend in that possibility that we could move up here to test some resistance levels in the chart. So keep an eye on that. Let's also take a look at some of the stocks that performed very well yesterday. Microsoft really led the pack yesterday. Bullish, bullish, bullish move yesterday. Now it's looking at a gap down open this morning. So we're going to be pulling back here in Microsoft. But what's undeniable here is the strength of this move. Any rest or pullback in here that holds into its trend, whether it be a pullback or a consolidation, sets up another opportunity in Microsoft. So I wouldn't chase it. But it is certainly one to watch, pay attention to um, in that chart. Uh, take a look at Cisco. Cisco holding up pretty well overall. And you can see popping up here um, yesterday. It's going to open. It looks like it's going to open maybe about where it closed yesterday. Keep an eye on it. Cisco's got some resistance up here in the chart to watch. And I also want to let you know that I picked up a long-term position in Cisco. So I have a leap option on on this trade just to let you know that I may have a little bit of a bias on this. Also, let's take a look at some stocks that could um, have some good benefits based on coronavirus. Grubhub has enjoyed a tremendous move um, up during this coronavirus problem as people uh, 
um, having food delivered to them at home rather than going out to eat. And as you can see, I placed an alert on this chart and yesterday we breached that, that move for that potential upside. But I wanna point out, this also has a significant level of price resistance in here to deal with. So this may not perform all that well, even though we were pushing up yesterday. That looks like this gap down may be having an effect on Grubhub this morning. So keep a close eye on that, watch it, and see if there's an opportunity coming up in that chart. TWLO is one that um, everyone should be keeping an eye on. Uh, these gaming stocks have done really, really well in the land of coronavirus, and um, they continue to hold up very, very well. And you can see a nice bullish candle here yesterday on Twillow. It may still need a little bit of rest moving over in here toward its trend, but let's watch that close. And this morning, it's looking to open about where it closed yesterday. Another one of those would be EA. EA has been holding up in a nice little consolidation. You can see a very, very tight consolidation and yesterday tried to push a little bit higher. So keep an eye on that. Now we do have some resistance back here in this chart, price action resistance that it's gonna have to deal with, but watch that closely. EA looking pretty good overall. And last but not least, um, on that same front is Activision. Activision in this nice tight consolidation holding up. We do have some resistance over here to consider, but Activision staying one of those nice strong stocks. And then if we look to some of those um, safety um, type plays, Clorox. Clorox performed quite well yesterday, um, obviously gaining some benefit from the coronavirus as everybody looks for sanitation uh, type products to uh, prevent the spread of the virus. So keep an eye on this Clorox holding up quite well. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. I want to wish you a great day. And I also want to ask everyone to please, please, please just be safe. Be careful. This uh, virus is not something you want to mess with. Be really, really careful if you're out. Make sure to wear one of those masks. I know it really, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily prevent you from getting it, but it does help others in contracting it if you happen to be a carrier of the virus. So if you are out in public, please wear one and be safe. I want to see you all back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Don't want to see any of um, our friends here and hit run candlesticks and right way options sick from the coronavirus. So stay safe, everyone. I want to wish you all the very best day, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.